next video again together with Valeria we are going to move over to an interview with Valeria so are you ready for questions? Uh, I am but I don't, I don't know if uh, people who are watching are ready because oh, yeah, they are, we have prepared some they are, they are definitely ready okay. and curious so I will start with the most important as we met because of Nebia we are going to open a new store in Brno I would like to ask you how did you find your way to Nebia um, and how do you like them, what do you like about them? Uh, I have been wearing their clothes for five years now and uh, I love the way how I feel while I'm training because uh, I feel sexy with uh, their clothes, I feel comfortable and uh, feminine and it's for us, for women, every time we have uh, good clothes we do a better workout because we feel more motivated so Nebia is the brand that um, I love wearing because it gives me motivation for it. And I really like the collection you are wearing right now. Yeah, it's one of my favorite ones. It's Aloha set and um, I'm wearing it now yeah. the most of the time. Um, can you imagine, or if you don't normally of course do it, um, to wear Nebia clothes or collection outside the gym as well? Yeah, I am wearing their clothes also outside the gym because they have like uh, fashion trendy stuff like bubble buds mm -hmm. and you can combine it with also with some kind of tops, uh, sh uh, shirts, yeah. sweatshirts and uh, I get questions when I'm outside where did I buy these pants so probably I'm doing uh, uh, good uh, um, <laughs> Yeah, marketing. Yeah, marketing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you definitely do. And we are super thankful for it. Um, I'm thankful for um, Regarding motivation, um, do you have any motivational quotes um, that you like to remember or stick to when you have lack of motivation? I, I don't really have like specific motivational quote. I just stick to the basic stuff that, that I have to be um, focused and not to give up mm -hmm. uh, when it gets hard. But again, 2020 year prepared for us uh, what it prepared. It's yeah. pretty, pretty bad year and at the time of quarantine when the gyms were closed, I don't know how in Slovenia, but in Slovakia and Czech Republic we had completely shut yeah, down. As well as that. Yeah. yeah, so it's pretty hard to stay motivated, wasn't it, for you? Uh, but you know the hard times keeps us uh, stronger so I I did the same as I did uh, when the gyms were open I found uh, good exercises to do at home uh, and um, <laughs> so I found good exercises uh, to do at home I, I am mostly eating also during uh, the whole year healthy food so it wasn't uh, hard for me to, you know, eat the healthy food uh, also in quarantine, and because most of the keeping in shape is mostly the diet. I mean, the good healthy food. So mm -hmm. um, I also had the motivation for home workouts. So it's only in your mind. If you if you have some vision, uh, and if you want to stay healthy, you do exercises. I don't do exercises. Uh, just because of the look. I do it because of my mental health. So that's my motivation. Um, like, if you want to stay healthy, you need to do something for your body. So, exercise. I have completely nothing to add to this answer. That was a mm -hmm. very, very beautiful answer. And also, all of you who watched our training session before, uh, you could see Valeria's working session that she applied during the quarantine at home. So, of course, she is always fit when she does that at home twice, <laughs> twice a week. <laughs> My god, that was crazy. Um, regarding your personal life, yeah, I came up with a very, very interesting question because I know about you that you like onions. Yeah. Like, you are super crazy about onions. Yeah. It, I, it's not like I like onions, I'm super crazy about onions. Yeah, and I'm obsessed with onions. Yeah, yeah. yeah I have a disease. <laughs> disease with onions. <laughs> and, and my question is, what is the most bizarre food you combine the onion with? So did you try to combine it with something? Yeah, I did. Are you sure you want to know? Let's go. More likes. 
Okay, so the most bizarre, I mean, it wasn't really bizarre, but just I like it, but maybe not for every day. Um, I put onions on my chocolate pudding. You serious? Yes, I am. Like chocolate pudding? Chocolate pudding. I put the chocolate pudding and put onion on it. Because I wanted to see if it goes well also with the sweet. How, how did it go? Well? No, it wasn't. It wasn't that good as I I I hoped that it would be. But uh, yeah. And since then, guys, Valeria didn't stop to love onions, but mm. she started to hate pudding, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah pudding, the pudding messed up. Onion yeah, was pudding, perfect. No, in it. Yeah, the pudding wasn't good with the <laughs> onion, not the onion with the pudding. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I thought so. Yeah. Um, Another personal question, I, I've seen your Instagram and you're pretty crazy uh, with Luca when it comes to prank challenges. Whose idea was it and who, who is the, the crazy one that always piss off the another one and then the another one, the poor half has to pay, has to go for payback? Um, this, this is like, I am a very childish person, yes. so it's like everyday thing that I do, it's, it's coming normal. So uh, I just started to film it because I wanted to have something on the bad day that I look at and I feel oh funny so I make myself a better day with watching it um, and yeah um, the one who doesn't feel the same as me is Luca of course because uh, <laughs> he um, how to say he he comes home to relax from stress from work. Mm -hmm. And then I come and prank him, and then you know he doesn't like that. But you know people like to watch. Yeah, this this comes like every time I'm not posting some kind of prank for a while, I get uh, DMs like, when will you prank Luca? When will you prank Luca? So now he knows that I have to. So he um, he needs to support that. Yeah. Sorry for the interruption, but. When it comes to question, like who started with it, and you said like uh, Luca is the guy, Luca is behind the camera, and I was like, <laughs> no, no, he's lying, constantly lying. So, yeah, but but that's the, the prank story, and I wanted to ask you because I've heard and I've met many people that would love to start uh, doing pranks with their partner because they obviously noticed that it might increase their numbers on social medias. But sometimes I also see that people do it and push it too much, and it's yeah. not really natural. And that's the problem, yeah. Because yeah. you have to, you know, I, I, that would be the same like I would start with the uh, fighting technique, and I don't have any idea how to do it. So yeah. um, you have to be yourself. You have to be if you if you prank uh, your partner or friends also in the time outside the uh, social media, then you know just start filming also for the social media but if you're not so much into this then yeah it's not looking good if it's fake yeah know? and I, and I must ask you because your Instagram um, is about to reach 500,000 followers yeah it's correct yeah yeah almost yeah, yeah. <laughs> just 5,000 no, 500,000 500, sorry 000. <laughs> and did you actually notice any um, increase of your of your followers since you started with pranks like does it actually really work that well or mm, I don't think that uh, it's just because of the the prank it's I think it's because of uh, person I am probably I hope um, I'm showing like not just prank but also exercises workouts um, some uh, recipes yeah. um, lifestyle so it comes all together not yeah. just the pranks, but once it started to grow, was because of the good quality material, photos, videos, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So, so it wasn't like you just were receiving on a daily basis, just example, 50 followers, and then all of a sudden it was like 1,000 followers every day just because of pranks. No, just because of pranks. No. Yeah. So it is about the constant. The, the constancy, the, yeah. the the whole package. Traveling. Mm -hmm. Because with such a huge Instagram profile, you get a lot of opportunity to travel, yeah. right? A lot of cooperations yeah. with any brands. Um, how can I get informed with such good shape uh, throughout the year? 
because I know people, including me sometimes, uh, when I go to vacation for seven days, the motivation is not as big as when, I, when I'm at home, I have everything by my side, gym, food, everything I need. Um, how do you do it? I eat like 80% of healthy food and 20% of Oh yeah, the room at 80-20. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. You know, and when I travel, of course, I eat uh, their traditional stuff, but that's why um, I don't overreact mm -hmm. on the unhealthy food mm -hmm. and I do some workouts. Yeah, so there's always certain strategy behind, like, yeah. oh, alright, I have this 80-20 rule yeah. that I stick to for the whole year. Yeah, yeah. And it doesn't really matter whether I'm no. home. You, you have space even when you're at home yeah. or to get a pizza burger. Yeah, or yeah, exactly, even yeah. although on your yeah. diet, yeah. you have perfect physique. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and that's something I, I suppose that many people should understand. Yeah, it's balance. Not if you if you are too much strict to diet, like um, only healthy food without uh, grabbing something that you love, like ice cream or stuff like that. You know you. You get into that yo-yo effect once um, you start to eat uh, sweet again, um, and you lose the motivation. But if you eat like balanced, mm -hmm. you don't lose motivation. If you still have energy, you still eat what you love, and you still eat healthy. Yeah, yeah. And the last question, because we are extremely busy today, as we explained in the previous video, we have a grand opening of physical store in Bruno. Bruno. Again, Bruno Bruno again. <laughs> we said the name on outside. Physical store in Bruno. Bruno. Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars. <laughs> in, in Brno. Bruno. The last question, and then we have to run so we can record more content for you guys. Um, I've heard about you. Now, the funny fact you actually graduated at university. Civil engineering. Civil yeah. engineering. Yeah. And now tell me, how is it possible that somebody that graduated at civil engineering gets, I suppose, some offers, some proposals to work at a certain industry, um, end up with 500,000 followers on Instagram, and that's completely something different? Um, I went to civil engineering uh, when I was younger. I needed to decide what to do, and I hated sport at that time but I was good at math, physics and stuff like that. So I just, you know, went to civil engineering then. Uh -huh. But during the study, I started to go to the gym and I felt in love with the process and everything like that. And yeah, it just, it came, from, it just came. I didn't uh, even expect to be in this industry, uh -huh. uh, so, I don't know, it just happened. So I'm happy that actually I'm doing something that I love instead of something that I should be doing just because I went to school yeah. to, for that, you know. Yeah, that was again very beautiful answer. Uh, we can get also inspired with your answer, many of us. You never know where your path of life will go. And that's the sentence we should wrap up this um, interview with. Okay, Valeria, thank you so much for this uh, conversation. It was really nice to yeah, talk to you. Yeah. Um, now we are going to get some food. And, and to where? Opening of Lydia yeah. in... Bruno! Bruno! <laughs> in Bruno, guys. See you there. See ciao. Ya. Ciao, ciao.